Hey there, I'm Dr. Samaya Iqbal. As we journey through life, our bodies go through changes, and so does our risk of developing certain health conditions. That's why staying on top of health screenings is key to maintaining your well-being. So let's dive in and find out what screenings you need at different stages of your life. Now, for women in your 20s and 30s, you're at a pivotal point when it comes to health screenings. This is the time when conditions like cervical cancer, high blood pressure, and anxiety disorders can make an appearance. Catching these early can be a game changer for your long-term well-being. First up, we've got the pap smear. It's a quick procedure that checks for changes in the cells of your cervix, which could indicate cervical cancer. Start getting this done at the age of 21, and depending on your age and HPV status, you can repeat it every three to five years. Your OBGYN or primary care doc can take care of this for you during your well woman exam. Next up, don't forget blood pressure and BMI screenings. These start in childhood and continue annually during routine wellness appointments. And let's not forget about anxiety and depression screenings. Both screenings involve answering a few questions to gauge how you're feeling. Identifying anxiety or depression early on can greatly improve your quality of life. Start these at age 19 and continue as needed during your preventive health checkups with your primary care doc. Now fast forward to your 40s and 50s, a time when the risk of conditions like breast cancer and colon cancer increases. Early detection through screenings can truly be a lifesaver. First on the list is the mammogram. Starting at around age 40 or earlier, if you have a family history of breast cancer, you should get one annually or even more frequently if you're at higher risk. Radiologists or breast imaging centers are the go-to for this. Next, there's colon cancer screening. This involves either colonoscopy or stool tests. Early detection is the name of the game here, making it highly treatable. Start these at age 45, although individual and family history can influence your starting age. And remember those pap smears, blood pressure checks, and BMI monitoring from your 20s and 30s, they're still important. Keep them going. As you reach your golden years, your risk of age-related conditions goes up. Staying proactive with your health screenings is more important than ever. First, there's the bone density screening, or the DEXA scan. This measures bone mineral density and assesses your risk of osteoporosis and fracture. It typically starts around age 65, but timing varies based on individual factors. Radiology or diagnostic imaging centers handle this. And yep, you guessed it, those pap smears, blood pressure checks, and BMI monitoring should continue. They've been your trusty companions all these years, and they're not going anywhere. Lastly, I just want to emphasize how crucial your family health history is. If someone in your family has had a certain disease, it might mean you need to start screenings earlier or do them more frequently. It's like having a roadmap for your health journey. So don't forget to share your family health history with your primary care doc. They can create a tailored screening plan just for you, ensuring your health and well-being continue to shine brightly through every stage of your life's journey. Remember, we're here to support you every step of the way. Ensuring your health and well-being is our priority, so stay proactive and stay healthy.